Municipal Theater Cincinnati, ETC, closes its 31st season with a trip to Ireland in the regional premiere of Bloomsday by award-winning playwright Stephen, is it Dietz? Yes. Dietz, I got it. Here today are actors Annie Fitzpatrick and Barry Mulholland, keeping me honest, two of the stars of the show. I love when we have such great talent and you're now both living in Cincinnati and entertaining us here. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you for having us, us on. Tell us about the show. Ladies well, first. Sure. Ladies first. All right. It, it's, um, it's got all these wonderful romantic kind of mystical elements to it, but basically it's a couple that meet when they're 20. It's a boy from America. He's visiting Dublin. The girl is a t uh, tour guide. She's, and they have okay. this amazing day. But for various reasons, it doesn't work out. Then fast forward, they come back at 55. The mm. gentleman seeks her out again, and they're going to have a, another meeting. But because it's Dublin and it's Stephen Dietz, they're able to sort of travel through time, and they talk to their younger selves and the younger versions of the love of their lives. And it's sort of this wonderful exploration of the road not taken, and, uh -huh. and if you had another chance, and the one that got away, and what would you tell your 20-year-old self? And would they listen to you if you uh, did come back and tell them? Boy, there's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. uh, Barry, preparing for this role, have, what would you say to your 20-year-old self? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Become well, a doctor. It, 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 it's funny because during the course of the play, we, 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 we spend a lot of time sort of giving advice to them and trying to counsel them, but, basic, but we're also just very frustrated with mm -hmm. them because of the boneheaded mistakes when they were uh -huh. younger and, <laughs> and uh, very frustrated because we, they let the, the gal get away. Uh, 35 years ago, and uh, but as Annie says, time is fluid throughout the play, and there are possibilities that these roads not taken may yet be roads that could be that taken. That could be taken later. So it's yeah. it's 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 kind of ambiguous, and it's filled with this sort of Irish charm and lyricism and quirkiness Wonderful. and wry, sly humor. So the show's already open. Do you have anybody in their midlife crisis shouting out, "Amen"? <laughs> 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 well, it's, it's interesting, it's sort of like an ink blot. We we're, were always, when we were rehearsing, I went, what are people going to take away from this? And some people are <gasps> sobbing uh -huh. and crying, and uh -huh. some are like, that's exactly right. And it, it is just there depends. hope at the end, Annie? I think there is hope. I, I think it is. Um, it, you know, you don't want to say, because we got to okay, leave it open. All right, all right, but yes, all right, I all find right. it hopeful. Other people find it bittersweet. A couple of people have found it devastating. <laughs> but by and large, I can there, <laughs> there are various Depending possible... Depending what you bring yeah. to the table. There are various interpretations that are possible. Right. So. Maybe make the appointment with the counselor for the following day. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no but the rare, okay. the rare one off. Mr. Lucan <laughs> has the information on the screen. you got to see this now that you've heard all this. Ensemble Theater Cincinnati. There's the number to call. There's the website. The show closes April 23rd. This Sunday, yeah, yeah. and tickets are Sunday. going. So please come, come see it. It's a lovely piece Wonderful. of work. Wonderful. Thank you for entertaining us today and on stage. Thank <laughs> Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay, a look out over the